I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. The grace of God is sufficient. The grace of God is truly sufficient. And even in our weakest times, God is with us. Welcome, my dear friend, to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I'm so happy to be with you today. It is a brand new day that God has given us, and it is a day to live to the fullest. Today, we're going to be praying in line with Psalm 6, and we're going to personalize it. The title of my prayer is a prayer for mercy in time of trouble. Are you going through a time of trouble? Are you going through a time of distress? Are you going through a time when you don't know what to do? Then take it to the Lord in prayer. And if you don't know how to take it to the Lord in prayer or the words aren't coming, then you can pray the Psalms. So I'm going to lead you and you can follow me in this Psalm. This is Psalm 6 and we're going to personalize it. And the nice thing about Psalm 6 is most of it is already personalized. I'm going to read in the Amplified Version. So if the words are slightly different from your version, then please bear with me on that. If it's your first time on this channel, please remember to subscribe. Click that bell icon. Join because daily you will receive words that will bless you and help you in whatever situation you're going through. It might be a difficult situation, it might be tough, but I want you to know that for us born-again believers who have put our trust in God, who have given our lives to Jesus, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And there is always a possibility for God to make a way where there seems to be no way, where there is no way. And it's good to say where there seems to be no way because in man's eyes it might seem like there seems to be no way but in God's eyes there's always a way because he's the way maker the miracle worker the wonder working God so let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit wherever you are just lift up your hands surrender to God and say this out loud say Holy Spirit of God I welcome you in this place help me help me to pray help me to mean these words as I follow along with Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. Help me to follow along and mean this with all of my heart and hear this prayer in accordance with Psalm 6. I ask this in Jesus' name. Now let us begin by just praising God and as we discern His presence, then we'll begin. And I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you and is going to take you to a greater glory. So wherever you are, my dear friend, just begin to thank God and praise Him in your own words. Father, we thank you and we praise you. We thank you and we praise you for your goodness and for your mercy in our lives. We thank you and we praise you that you are not done with us and the best is yet to come. Greater is He who is within us. Greater are you, God, who is within us than He who is in the world. Greater are you, God, than any trouble, any challenge, any trial, any situation that may come against us. We give you praise and thank you for this. In the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise and thank you for another day that you've given us. It is another day to live on. It is another day that we can do what you have called us to do. It is another day that we can work. That we can do what you have set us on the path to do. It is another day that we can receive from you. It is another day to rejoice and be glad. Regardless of what we are going through, it is another day that we can smile and say, I believe in God. And no matter what may happen, I am in the family of God. And my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I give you praise and thank you for this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, my dear friend, I'm going to begin. As we begin, I want, to, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. 
And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you, He's going to take you up. So, Psalm 6 from the Amplified Version. O Lord, do not rebuke or punish me in your anger. Say that with me. Say, O Lord, do not rebuke or punish me in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me and be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am weak, faint, and frail. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are dismayed and anguished. Say that with me. Say, Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are dismayed and anguished. My soul as well as my body, is greatly dismayed. But as for you, O Lord, how long until you act on my behalf? Return, O Lord, rescue my soul. Save me because of your unfailing steadfast love and mercy. Say that and mean that. Return, O Lord, rescue my soul. Save me because of your unfailing and steadfast love and mercy. Verse 5 For in death there is no mention of you. In show, who will praise you and give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning. Every night I soak my bed with tears. Say that and mean it. Speak to the Lord. Tell him what that situation is. Let's continue. I drench my couch with weeping. My eye grows dim with grief. It grows old because of all my enemies. Verse 8. Depart from me, all you who do evil. For the Lord has heard my voice of my weeping. Hallelujah. Say that with me and mean it. Say, Depart from me, all you who do evil. For the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. Verse 9. The Lord has heard my supplication, my plea for grace. The Lord receives my prayer. Declare that. Say, The Lord receives my prayer. Verse 10, let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly horrified. Let them turn back. Let them suddenly be ashamed of what they have done. In Jesus' name. Now, my dear friend, as we've said this song, I want to speak to you. It is very important that in every situation and everything that we feel, we speak to the Lord about it. We confide in Him. And we are real with Him. Because He knows how we feel and He understands. And He wants us to actually give that burden unto Him. To cast that burden unto Him. To allow Him to take that weight off us. And the way we can do that is by speaking to Him about it telling him exactly how we feel. If we've done wrong, and that wrong has brought trouble on our lives, repent. If you truly mean it, repent. And if the Holy Spirit is leading you in your heart to repent, do so. And tell him what you're going through. He will hear you. God is not selective in who he is. God hears the cries of all His children. You are a child of God, I can guarantee you, as you've prayed, even today as you've said this psalm, God has heard you. Now, you might not relate to every verse that was said over here, but God has heard you, and God knows what situation you're going through. God knows those enemies that might be coming up against you, the devil and his cohorts trying to attack you, trying to push you down, trying to give you negative thoughts, 
trying to tempt you to do things that are not right, that you know in your heart are not right, and you don't want to go that way. But God is with you. The time is coming and is now here when people will worship God in spirit and in truth. So it's not just about making noise or going through the motions and calling it faith. But true faith is really believing there is a God, being real with Him and speaking to Him and asking Him for divine intervention. And when we do that, that is truly when we receive a release from what we are going through. That is truly when we receive a touch from Him. I'll give you some examples. There was a leper who went to Jesus and he said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me whole. Notice his words. He didn't go there with any noise or any preconceived notion or anything. He never went there declaring and putting God in a corner saying, your word says this, so this is what you must do. No, he said, Lord, if you're willing, you can make me whole. And the Lord responded and said, I am willing. Because he's gracious and merciful. He's compassionate. Now, am I saying that you shouldn't hold on to the promises of God? No. A thousand times, no. You must hold on to the promises of God. You must hold on to them with all of your heart. When you come to God, come to Him and be real. Speak to Him. Give that weight unto the Lord. Let Him take that weight off your shoulder. And then begin to pray and ask Him to deliver you. And then begin to decree and declare the promises of God. There is a pattern laid out in the Psalms. And we notice that, especially with the Psalms that David wrote, he would start off by really just confiding in the Lord and telling Him exactly how he felt. Without even suppressing his emotions, he would just tell God exactly how he felt. And there is something about this, and that is that it builds our relationship and our connection with God. God already loves us so much, and he knows us more than we know ourselves. But we need to train ourselves to run to God and to confide in him first. Before we run to our friends and confide in them, I'm not saying that you shouldn't confide in your friends or you shouldn't speak to any specialist if you need to. No. But what I'm saying is, let us train ourselves to first speak to God. We can speak to other people and we tell them exactly how we feel, but how come when we come to God, all we want to do is just make our requests known as if God is an ATM and we put in the pin code and we get out what we want and then we go. No. Let us have a real and genuine conversation with God. Speak to Him and then begin to ask Him, Lord, deliver me from this situation. This is how I feel. This is what I'm going through. This is the problem. Help me, Father. As it says in your word, you will deliver me. You will never leave me. You will never forsake me. I can do all things through Christ. The battle belongs to the Lord who will go before me and fight all my battles. Greater is he who is within me than he is in the world. And God will hear your prayer and he will answer you. I truly believe personally the reason why we don't see the miracles on such a level as they used to happen in the early church is because we've come to this place where we've built up a tradition of how things must be and we are not real with God because the more real you become with God it shows the more you believe in God but if you're just going through some religious cycle that you've been taught this is what you must do just go through this religious cycle and you're not being real with him it's almost as if you're going to ATM and you punch in your pin code and you get out what you want but God is a person and when I say person, I'm not saying God is a human being, but he's got a personality. He's a person. And you can approach him. He's very approachable. He's very loving. He's very kind. He's willing to hear your prayer. You don't need to make an appointment first before you go to him. You can go to him at any time. 
Even right now while you're listening to this, you can go to God. He's open to receive you. He's so great and so vast. Multiple people may approach him at the same time and he's hearing everyone, clearly. He sees everyone's hearts. He sees everyone's trouble. It's so essential that we speak to the Lord and we confide in him and we learn to trust him in this way and we build that personal bond and relationship with him. I encourage you from this day onwards, build that bond with God and you will go to a greater glory. Remember, I'm not saying that you shouldn't pray prayers with a lot of fire or prayers that you make a lot of noise or a lot of sound. No, I'm not saying that. There is a time for everything. There is a time when the Holy Spirit of God will stir up your spirit so much so that you are praying violently. And there is a time when the Holy Spirit will calm you down so that you are praying quietly and you are speaking to the Lord and giving that burden unto God. Today, I just pray over you that God will give you the comforting power of the Holy Spirit. No matter what you may be going through, be it a small thing or something big, or something that's just overwhelming for you to bear, may God give you the comforting power of His Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. God bless you, my dear friend, and God keep you. Thank you for watching this broadcast. Thank you for tuning in. Share this with your family and your friends who might need it, and might need to hear it, and might need to pray along with it, and let them too be blessed. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and the GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studio team, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.